All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Fist Ultra Combo. So now, as you guys know, the semi-annual event has been going on, and we got the Gatai Zumasu. That is the gear he has right now. I'll just go and skip that. We'll farm a little bit of it up. But, um, yeah, guys, now I'm going to go into the semi-annual exchange, and I'm going to show you basically what I got with the exchange. I believe we have, like, 450 Dragon Balls. Now, I want to use those 450 Dragon Balls and redeem it on Gatai Zumasu's weapon. I could go for more shards. I believe uh, I could spend 160 and get the Gatai Zumasu and just save up the rest of the Dragon Balls for another event. But I do think um, this is too much of a good opportunity to waste. So I'm actually going to scroll all the way down in the semi-annual festival exchange and look for the uh, weapon. So right there, you see it costs 450. We can uh, redeem it. So there we go, guys. We got his awakening weapon. So he is our uh, SSS plus character with an awakening weapon, guys. So if you also got that, let me know in the comments below. So right now, I already skipped it. And this is what his gear is looking like. And we finally got his weapon awakened. So now his, uh, basically his ultimate move is now max. So that is good. So we're going to go and check it out. So it still has the, the seal. So um, he's able to make uh, enemies not do their ultimate attack and also can't crit for two rounds so this is a really good um addition in getting this ultimate weapon so he'll be doing even more damage actually and yeah so i think it's pretty good that we got it now i'm gonna upgrade some of his skills right now we're sending around 10 million gold and yeah i'm gonna try and get all of his skills up and see if we can maybe use him in a couple arena fights today or even the uh, cross server arena you know going into my team uh, you guys know I have all those characters, and I do want to throw in this Gatai Zumasu for the Majin Vegeta, just because they both are AoE, even though the Gatai Zumasu is not stunned, he will be doing more damage overall. And yeah, so I'm going to do a quick little summon real quick. We have some uh, Dragon, Dragon Summoning Stones, and we got Piccolo. But that's alright, we got a super bad soul, so we'll use that on the Gatai Zumasu. Now they're also doing this May login gift, like as you guys know the April login gift, you guys can get uh, Dragon Stones, and they're also giving out on certain days the Super Saiyan Blue shards. So um, definitely, I think I have like 50 of those saved up, and if you guys already got him from the semi-annual exchange, then it'll be more shards for you guys to then use and start him up higher. So now I'm just opening some things in my bag. Um, now I have been trying to get more Jirin shards, because I do want to start him up and also be prepared for when his divine domain comes out and we can be able to unlock that so right there i'm just opening up some cross server chests and we got a couple of green and blue moves there now i'm going to open up this rank up box and also going to be using those keys right there we're going to be using four of those keys because then uh you can get an awakening stone if you spend it uh five times a day guys so that's why you can use those on your gear so you can be stronger and get your cp up because i know you guys are always asking how can i get stronger and stuff like that so those are um quick little tips to do that now going into the Gata Izumasu, he is at 35k attack with APT15 character, and Majin Vegeta is at 31k attack, so I think it's common sense to just throw in the Gata Izumasu already. So he is in my lineup right now, guys. This is what his gear is looking like. Got it pretty much too orange. Now let's hop into a cross-server arena fight. We're trying to get promoted to gold one, so we're going to face Tuana Official, and let's go. ハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハハ
女の構えは、はぁー人間風情がよっよっ気で行くぞはぁすげえはぁはぁはぁはぁ行くぞはぁこの一撃で終わるダメージ rate skill so he'll be doing even more damage and he's only purple four guys so take that into account so right here it will take uh maybe like a day or two to get his skills to max as long as we have the gold for it right there we already got to around like level 35 or whatever so um doing pretty good guys so now we're gonna see right here the kid boo has a 45k attack and the gata has 70 uh 37k attack So now what I want to do actually is take off the moves on the Kid Buu and actually put it on the Gatai Zumasu. So uh, I want to give Gatai Zumasu all of the orange moves that the Kid Buu has. And I know if you guys have seen, if you guys have been following my videos, I've been upgrading all those uh, moves on the Kid Buu. So I think it would make more sense to uh, try and make this Gatai Zumasu as strong as we could. This isn't a pure showcase for him just because he isn't maxed out with his gear and stuff. But if he's already doing this at purple four, guys, you already know the damage he's going to be doing at orange one. He's just going to be insane. So those moves you see right there on screen, you see the move stats and everything. So I'm um, completely transparent with you guys and showing you. So now I'm just going to put any other purple moves that we could on the Kid Buu. He's still going to be a good damage dealer and getting those burns for us. But I do want to switch the focus from the Kid Buu to now on the Gatai Zumasu. Granted, also, he is two ratings higher in being SSS Plus and not SS. So right here, we're going to switch the Gatai Zumasu to the last position because that's a two times multiplier. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much... Uh, what I think about that. And uh, also, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content. And yeah, so right there, you see the Gatai Zumasu's attack is now 40k and the Kid Buu's at 41k. So both still doing a whole bunch of damage. And uh, yeah, so you see his skills, you see his stats. And um, yeah, we're probably gonna go hop into an arena fight and see what we can do with this new Gatai Zumasu and especially being in that position in the lineup. So we're gonna go take on Anubis and he has slightly lower CP, but let's go. Oh, no! 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 Oh,
行くぞはっこの一撃で終わるこの一撃で終わる逃がさん受けろほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほほの構えは,は人間風情がブブッおいこんな神の怒りを味わえ読み刻み込めこれが神の技だ神の怒りを味わえ読み刻み込め Yeah, guys, we get the win there. You saw the Gata Izumasu. Let me know what you guys got in the semi annual exchange. That's pretty much going to wrap this episode of Dragon Fist Ultra Combo. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content. And as always, I'm out. Later.